as you uh, notice, we've got uh, a little bit more done since uh, last time. The main beam up at the front there, where um, I'm going to put a decker eventually. Um, I'm also wanting to reinforce these uh, these posts a bit. So as you see, I've got some eyelets just there and there, and I'll put some at the bottom as well. Um, but basically. Uh, that'll help. I'll put some cross bracing in um, to strengthen up the post. Since I actually uh, uh, covered this up, um, and in that time I, I uh, put a whole bunch of manure in, probably about um, I think about 50 kilo of manure, um, just horse and cow manure, went in there. Um, and because the w weather was cooling down, we're supposed to, we're supposed to be heading into winter, and um, like it's quite a mild day today. Um, about 21, 22 degrees today, but um, we had a really hot spell where average temperatures were sitting around about 35 degrees Celsius. So what happened is um, I actually did put some worms in there, um, but because the temperatures were so high, unfortunately we lost the worms, which I was a bit bummed about. Um, as you see on such a mild day as well, I don't know if you can really see that too well, but it's currently... 29 degrees just under the surface. This black plastic, it does collect the sun and um, it has got it quite hot so um, worms kind of like temperatures more around 20, 25 degrees Celsius at most. Um, so if you can keep it around there, it'd be best. So uh, the thing that I'm going to do next is uh, try to get the plumbing in. Um, it's one of the major factors I found was, uh, look, basically, worms can survive up to 30 degrees Celsius. Um, possibly a bit higher, not too much though, but um, the most, uh, uh, if you want to breed them and stuff like that, um, would be around 20, 25 degrees. But basically, uh, one of the things I found, the manure I put in there actually uh, uh, started to decompose and um, ferment which actually generated a, a lot of heat um, so that didn't help and um, but if I had the uh, the line hooked up to there um, wetting it down when you you know wash your hands flush the toilet anything like that have a shower um, it would have actually cooled that whole system down so basically it would have you know been a cooling system for it so it would have helped uh, uh, maintain it a little bit but um, and they do recommend if uh, if temperatures do start to get too hot in your vermi compost to water them down daily um, you know you can do it twice a day if you wish but basically as long as you keep it around that temperature you should be fine um, so um, I'm going to get the pipes hooked up as, as quick as I can I'm not going to put any worms in there at the moment Everything's, uh, you can't really see it, but everything's breaking down in there quite well anyway. Um, so it's, uh, it's working. The system's actually working. Um, water does uh, go in and, and come out the bottom. And it is quite rich water. So um, as you can see, it's, as soon as water's hit the, uh, the little reservoir that I had sitting there, because it's so rich, it's... Uh, just instantly went green um, pretty much as soon as the sun come out so um, it's got a lot of good stuff in there so I just got to get it all connected so it'll actually feed the grass um, so anyway moving on and uh, we'll uh, see how we go with uh, getting everything uh, made so we'll get this uh, all enclosed get the, the lines hooked up and uh, get it insulated, get it away from the sun. So that's a pretty important step. So we'll do that next. So we'll see you next time.